Here's all this shit. Good morning, welcome back to Bespoke Airsoft. Now, I haven't done a vlog for a while just because you guys have been keeping me so busy and there's so much to do. Um, but if you didn't see yesterday on our, uh, Facebook and the rest, we have edgy kits. So, it doesn't look like much um, for 300 quid, but it is really, really nice stuff. Now, in the edgy kit, just in case you didn't know, it's a full upgrade kit for the Striker series. Um, you get the cylinder, you get the spring guide, you get the spring, you get the piston, you get the cylinder head. All stainless steel, I think. Um, and you also get two springs, one doing 500 and one doing 550. Strange thing is, the longer one does 500 and the short one does 550. So, um, it's all just bundled together in this cylinder. Let me see if I can uh, quickly. Open this up so we can show you what's inside. Now, if you don't know where Edgy Custom Works is, um, the nicest way possible, just go out and educate yourself. Um, Google search, anything like that, on their Facebook, see what they do. Uh, but he makes um, upgrade parts, barrels, you name it, um, to the highest level of quality that's probably available on the airsoft market at the moment. Now you get the cylinder, you get the spring guide which he has redesigned so it's got a wider piece that sits in the slot at the back um, so it's not as thin anymore. Like I say you get the spring and then you get the piston as well. Now for those uh, striker owners out there that have either bought or made steel pistons um, and it was something we looked into. Let me see if I've got one of those. As I like frantically look around trying to find it. Hmm. I think it has disappeared. Anyway, this is the edgy piston. So I presume it's aluminium and stainless steel, stainless steel being the most important part where your sear engages. You also get a sear set with this gun, which is slightly redesigned, making the part slightly longer, uh, more reliable, um, and you can see it's got a proper 90 degree cut on the sear. I'll imagine this will uh, make the trigger pull heavier, um, but like I say, the, the manufacturing quality that goes into these parts is just second to none. Now he hasn't, with the edgy stuff he doesn't do a piston with a o-ring over like many other companies do. He uses the plunger system um, which seems to work very very well. Excellent air seal, uh, superbly made product and you can just see the quality that goes into these parts. Let's go see if I can find a piston for you. Got one around here somewhere. Ah, there we go. So we did two steel pistons. Um, the, I don't know if you followed or not. We did a heavyweight, which was uh, tall steel, I think. Um, very, very heavy compared to the original. And it's all the same length all the way along. I'll quickly see. Uh, I don't know where the other pistons disappeared to. Um, but it was uh, close to what the original um, piston, what the original piston looks like. It was just made out of steel again, designed to be more hard wearing now. Although uh, we have the machines here and everything like that. We can't produce these to a quality that Edgy Custom Works does. Um, he specialises in the field, so we decided to go with the Edgy Custom Works full upgrade kits instead. Mainly because those out there, I know a few other people have attempted making steel pistons. I just don't don't really see the point. Um, yeah, it's going to be more hard wearing, but you know some people are, are selling 
obviously not this one, but some people are selling replacement steel pistons for like £55 and upwards. And you know, you're you're a sixth of the price there um, already towards an edgy kit, um, which you then get stainless steel, pretty much everything. So it's a no brainer for me. If you're going to go and upgrade certain parts throughout either making your own sears or your own pistons or paying people to do them, you might as well just buy the full upgrade kit that comes with everything that you need. Um, and he really has done a good job on it. So those are up on the website now. Most of them are already spoken for. Um, I've said it on our Facebook as well again about our 0.4 gram uh, diamond precision BBs. Um, we're down to literally the last two bags left. So if you haven't already, um, go ahead and pick yourself a bag up. They're really good. OEM by BLS. We've never been secretive about that as many other companies do. Why have I gone orange? Light is all over the place here. Um, so yeah, it's uh, the BBs are absolutely brilliant. So we we'll have a restock of them soon. We are going to upgrade the packaging. Uh, the price won't change, um, but those will be a little bit away. Um, so if you need some sniper primo, just hit us up and we'll uh, we'll get some sent out to you. Um, I've been playing with the Silverback SRS, which is an absolute great piece of kit. We've got a Silverback SRS here, which doesn't look standard much anymore. A little bit further away. So it's the 16 inch model, um, and it has the fast hop unit in it. So out the box, the SRS with the fast hop unit in it, I didn't change the hop rubber, apart from the one that comes with the fast hop unit, which I think is the same. Um, I haven't changed the barrel, I haven't changed the spring, it's doing about 420 feet per second. Um, I took it out, I put 0.4 uh, gram BBs in there straight away. I put the hop about half, halfway, maybe a third, about a third, I think it was on setting number three. 0.4 BBs and they literally flew straight out to 75, 80 meters. I was really impressed and you've still got another 80 feet per second to go um, if you do want to up your, your sniper weight to, to even higher. Um, People have been asking us about biodegradable uh, sniper ammo. We're looking into it now. Um, again, we're just trying to find the the best possible option. We've been trying some. I don't know if they are bios. I presume they're bios. We um, we had them submerged in water for about three to four weeks, um, and then they eventually did start to uh, degrade at the two week mark. Fully submerged under water. Um, they hadn't budged a bit, they were still like 5.94, 5.95 um, with plus or minus uh, either side. Um, so great ammo, just compared to the stuff that we're doing with the Dime Precision, in my opinion, it's not as good. But I know some out there, like people in the Netherlands and other places around Europe, you can only use biodegradable BBs anyway, so we'll have that option for you soon. Um, what else has changed? We've had restock on most bits and pieces. Um, hopefully the scopes and bipods are in today. And get some recon packages out to you guys. Uh, thanks to everyone that pre-ordered. It's been appreciated. Uh, it's great showing your support to us. Uh, I know I'm going to show you. <laughs> what is this? This is Glock 1911. Really nice bit of kit. This it's going to retail for about 99.99 ish. Uh, we will see. Uh, we've got a very limited number of these. Uh, they have got. They haven't got the trades on. Maybe. Um, but if you don't know the story behind the Glock 911, do a Google search and you'll be able to find all the information that you do need. And it's basically a photoshopped image um, trying to hint that Glock were coming out with a 1911. And it was actually a Nighthawk Custom, uh, I think, 1911 that had been photoshopped. But some crackpot decided to make an airsoft replica that looked like that photoshop image. And they are really nice, to be honest. They're TM compatible, so they'll use the mags and all the upgrade parts. Uh, nice, affordable little 1911 if you want something different. Uh, be, 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 be. Yeah, 
So I'm going to go see now because I know I've got a couple of packages here. So we'll see what we've got. I'll be back in just a moment. Thank <laughs> you. 